The world is still in shock after their terror attack on a gay nightclub in Orlando over the weekend. But in the aftermath of the horror, people all over have come together with moving expressions of love and solidarity for the people of Orlando and the LGBT community, providing some hope that in the end, fear and hatred won't win. But Donald Trump might. As news of the attack was still coming in on Sunday, Donald Trump took to Twitter to express his solidarity with himself, tweeting, I called it. <laughs> it reminds me of FDR's inspiring words after Pearl Harbor. December 7, 1941, a date which will live in told you so. <laughs> then, yesterday, Trump gave a speech where he let the world know who's to blame for this lone madman's act of violence. Hillary Clinton, for months, and despite so many attacks, repeatedly refused to even say the words radical Islam. They have put political correctness above common sense. I refuse to be politically correct. Yes, Donald Trump refuses to be politically correct. And just to be safe, he refuses to be correct. <laughs> and not only... <laughs> Political, on the other hand, he's fine with. And not only does Trump want to keep Muslims far away, he also wants to work closely with them. We have to form a partnership with our Muslim communities. They have to cooperate with law enforcement and turn in the people who they know are bad. And they know it. They know what's going on. They know that he was bad. Yes, all Muslims know what other Muslims are thinking. <laughs> They're magical that way. Trump learned that from the documentary Aladdin. <laughs> mm -hmm. This whole speech... This whole speech, with its nativism, its fear-mongering, and especially its self-aggrandizing in the face of tragedy, feels like a new low. It makes me long for the days when Trump was just bragging about the size of his penis. <laughs> Donald, can't we just put the focus of your campaign back on your genitals? <laughs> Which, again, I'm sure don't look a day over 70. <laughs> I'm, ge I'm guessing he moisturizes. The man has got a very strong grip. Maybe, maybe all of us could just get together and declare how big Trump's penis is. <laughs> Perhaps with a giant monument to his junk. I mean, after all, we did it for our first president. <laughs> Why not for our last? And here's the thing. Trump's speech, unbelievably, was the least controversial part of his reaction to Orlando. Just listen to what he said about President Obama. We're led by a man that either is not tough, not smart, or he's got something else in mind. And there's something else in mind, you know, people can't believe it. People cannot be, uh, they cannot believe that President Obama is acting the way he acts and can't even mention the words radical Islamic terrorism. There's something going on. It's inconceivable. Yes, inconceivable, especially to Brian Kilmeade. Is he, is he saying what I think he's saying? Is he? And what do I think he's saying? Someone please get the camera off of me. Now, now. In his defense, Trump didn't come right out and call the president a secret Muslim. But a lot of people took it that way. So yesterday, Trump clarified his vague statement by making a vaguer one. There's something going on. What, what did you mean by that? Well, you know, we'll let people figure that out for themselves, Howie. Because to be honest with you, there certainly doesn't seem to be a lot of anger or passion. There is certainly not a lot of anger. So, you know, I'll let that, uh, we'll let people figure it out. Yeah. <laughs> let the people figure it out. He's just going to give you clues, like, uh, like the $100,000 pyramid. <laughs> Your clues are Obama and something's going on. Um, uh, 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 what my racist aunt would say at a picnic. Um, but, uh, ding, 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 ding. Ding, 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 ding. But...
But you heard him. He's going to let people figure it out. And since I'm a people, <laughs> I thought I would take a stab at it. Okay, bring out the figure it out of Tron 5000, guys. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. All right. All right. First of all, before I figure this out, I've got to think like Trump. So first, I'm not going to take my meds. <laughs> okay. Woo! <laughs> I see patterns where none exist. Okay, let's see here. Okay, okay, let's see all the non options here. Okay, uh, okay. O -O Obama, Obama, uh, Obama, uh, Trump is saying Obama is not smart because he won't say radical Islam. <laughs> Trump. <laughs> oh, wait, I'll figure this out. Trump then says, this is inconceivable. So something must be going on. Probably because Obama is a Muslim, and that's a bad thing. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. That can't be it. No, 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 no. There's no way. That can't be. There's got to be a simpler answer. There's got to be a simpler answer. Think, 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 think. Okay, let's try it again. Okay, okay, one more time. Okay, okay. Trump says, oh, uh, Trump says, Obama won't say radical Islam uh, because either Obama is not smart or something is going on with the Muslims, which could lead to inconceivable bad things. <sighs> and the center of it all, there's got to be an answer. And I don't know what it is. But I hope Trump explains it soon. Because until he does, that kind of looks like he's an asshole. <laughs>